How you doing, ma'am? Sergeant Hanlon with the West Long Ranch Police Department. I Just so you know. Right. All right. Do me a favor. Hang the phone up. Exit out of Thanks the car. My mother. Hang on. I didn't finish explaining the test. Okay. You chose you to care. you chose to take One, the shoes off. <laughs> two. My hands are up. You're you're going to be placed under arrest. Yes, but I'm going to let you put your shoes on first. Okay. Well, you know what, ma'am? I I have every right to ask you for your name. Okay. I'm not about to. Do not touch me. I'm pregnant. Stop it. No, it's ridiculous. What are you doing? Okay, get up, ma'am. I can't. I'm pregnant. Okay. I Yourself. On July 15th, 2023, Sergeant Hamlin from West Long Branch pulled over a woman called Mariah, who was drunk, pregnant, and a former drug addict after she crossed the center line. This behavior quickly caught the officer's attention. How you doing, ma'am? Sergeant Hamlin with the West Long Branch Police Department. Just so you know, no, just so you know, I'm wearing a body camera. Everything's audio and video recorded. The reason why I pulled you over is you're swerving over the yellow center line you have a brake light that's out i'm, I'm aware of the brake light where are you coming from home where's home okay. and where are you heading to my mom's house okay and what's this address in long branch here uh I, let me see can i see that's my old address okay so you don't live there anymore i'm going to cedar you're going to and who lives on cedar my mother okay have you had any kind of alcohol drink tonight? No. Nothing at all? Mm -hmm. Alright, you on any kind of medication? Uh, and when was the last time you took that? I take it every day. I'm just working. Alright, do me a favor, hang the phone up, exit out of the it's car. my mother. Okay. She's um, about to come here. She's literally right there. Okay, how old are you? 31. Okay, hang up the phone, exit your vehicle, and step behind the vehicle. Step behind the vehicle? Yeah. Mom. All right, so Mariah, the reason why I have you out of the vehicle is because, again, like I said, you're swerving all over the road. You're crossing over the center line. You actually almost hit me head on as I was coming I was up texting. Mammoth Road. I'm sorry. Uh, texting, regardless, I'm I mean, wrong. anything. I mean, obviously, I you can't be doing that when you're driving, okay? I get it. And then there was a second time when I was behind you, you also crossed over the center line. I had my camera activated and got everything on camera. Okay. All right, so. I was texting. So, all right, do you hear me? Just stand on the sidewalk. I just want to turn off my front overhead lights so that there's no kind of confusion for you. you and I just want to look at your eyes. Gotta be here in two seconds. Okay, well, she's gonna have to wait in the car. In there for a second. I just wanna look at your eyes real quick, okay? So, see a tip my finger? I want you to follow it with your eyes. Do not move your head, do you understand? Just follow it with your eyes. Nope, you're moving your head, all right? Just follow the tip of you my finger. You do understand I'm on Suboxone. I do. Do you know what that is? I do understand okay. what it is, okay? So follow it with your head, your eyes. Don't move your head, okay? I'm going to move my finger from right to left. Just follow it with your eyes. All right, I'm going to go up towards the sky. It's going to be hard to see my finger, but just keep trying to follow it, okay? Wait, what do you mean it's going to be hot? Like you're going it's gonna, all it's, yeah, it's going to be hard to see. It's going to be out of your vision, but can just I, keep trying to follow Can I pull my zipper up? Your zipper is up. I feel like it's down. Yep, Sorry. it's up. You're good. I'm pregnant. Sorry. Okay. Okay, one more time. The officer thinks he needs to test her and does so in his ingenious way. A field sobriety test. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have you do a couple of quick tests just to make sure that you're okay to drive. So just stand in front of my patrol car. You want me to stand in front? Stand in front of it, yep. And then you're gonna face your car. Do you have any kind of injuries, current or previous, that would prohibit you from walking in a straight line or balancing on one foot or doing anything I of a such? I have surgery on my right leg. Okay, when was that? Uh, about two years ago. And does it affect you daily? Or are you able to? It depends on the weather. Okay. What do you do for a living? Me, per, I'm unemployed. It, what? When I'm was that time you worked? I'm disabled. I live in a what do you call it? A disabled home. Okay. For mother and children. Okay. Yeah. So ha have you worked since the surgery at all? No. Okay. I all right. Not. All right. Then I'll take the leg into an account. So what I want you to do is put your right foot in front of your left, heel to toe. In street line, all right? Keep your arms down at your sides. Maintain this position while I explain the test. Do you understand? All right. So what you're going to do is when I tell you to, you're going to walk nine heel-to-toe steps towards your vehicle in a straight line. I'll demonstrate what it should look like, okay? okay. Watch me. One, two, three. You're going to take nine. I only took three. You're going to touch heel-to-toe on every step. 
okay? And you're gonna walk in a straight line. Once you get to your ninth step, you're gonna take a series of short choppy steps with your back foot around your front foot, and then you're gonna walk nine heel to toe steps towards my patrol vehicle. You're gonna look down at your feet, you're gonna count each step out loud like I demonstrated, and you're gonna keep your arms down at your you sides. You're gonna count all this? You're not gonna count all this? No, you're gonna count each step out loud, okay? Let's go. Again, look down that at your feet. That count sucks though. Okay. Like that's not even like a game. Okay, so you're gonna look down at your feet, count each step out loud, touch heel to toe. Once you start the test, do not right. stop the test and keep your arms I down got at your Air side. Forces on. What do you got on? I have boots. If you want to take your shoes off, you can take your shoes off. It's up to you. Off. If yeah. you want to take your shoes off, sure. All right, whatever you're more comfortable with. What I'm, I'm going nine, right? You're going to take nine. Yep. Take a series of short, choppy I'm steps. Turn around and I'm going to come back, right? And it's going to be Let's nine go. back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that correct? That's nine. You want me to turn around? You're going to turn around. Okay, you want me to go back. And then you're going to take nine. You know my socks are going to be dirty, brand new? Uh, okay, you, chose you, to, you chose to take One, the shoes off. <laughs> two, three, four, five. I got a cold. <clears throat> five, six, seven, oops, sorry. Can I do them again? Eight, nine. If you want to do it again, you can. I can. I'm perfectly fine, I promise. But I do have a cold. You got to keep your hands out. You're grabbing my car. You got to keep your hands down at your side. Okay. Down at your side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I turn around? Yes, you can. This is stupid. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Can Next, my shoes on? if you want to, more. yeah, okay. you're you're gonna do another test, so you can do it with your shoes on or without off. your shoes. Let's it's go. up to you. All right. So next one's gonna be the one leg stand. So whichever leg you choose, mm -hmm. you're gonna balance on one leg and you're gonna raise the opposite leg so that your foot's approximately six inches off the ground. I'll demonstrate mm -hmm. what it's gonna look like. Okay. It's gonna look like this. You're gonna point your toes forward. You're gonna count one thousand and one, one thousand and two, one thousand and three. Who told you 1, I was 000. gonna math? You're gonna count. I'll you're, do it. You're gonna count. Okay. I, I can't. You're gonna count. I fucking count. You're not. You're not adding. You're not subtracting. You're not multiplying. You're not dividing. 1, you're just counting. One thousand to one thousand. How long I'm going? You're gonna keep going until I tell you to stop. Okay. So it's gonna be for thirty seconds. So however high you count it. Hang on. I didn't finish explaining the test. So you're gonna raise your foot so that's approximately six inches off the ground. You're gonna point your toes forward. You're gonna look down at your foot during the entire test. You're gonna keep your arms down at your sides and you're gonna keep counting up starting with the number 1,000 until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Y'all get paid for this shit? We do. Are you ready? Here, take one step forward away from the patrol car. There you go. Are you ready? Whenever you're ready. Is this good? That's firm. My balance sucks, so I didn't do ballet. The fuck? You know what? We'll come back for this. Take me, we'll go back for this. I don't do ballet. I'm sorry. Just tell her what time for. I don't do ballet. Well, it's not, it's not ballet. It's just balancing I, on one I, leg. Like, I'm not, like, I have a broken fucking foot. Like, you can check my records. Like, I, sure. So, you're either saying. Way, either way it goes, like, my shit is fucked up and I'm fucking 17 weeks pregnant. Okay, so, wh so, so which, like, so which foot, which leg is the like, one that you're having you, an issue you with? You count. No, no. So, which leg one is thousand, the one that you're, which leg, ma'am, ma'am. 1,002. 1,003. Yeah, keep your arms down. Arms down at your side. 1,005. Look at your foot. 1,006. I, I can't do that. Okay. All right. If you can't do it, that's I fine. I can't do that. All right. Your mom? Uh, yeah. Hi. Would you want to just come over here? We don't want to get interfere. They just, uh, our sergeant is just putting her out for a field sobriety test. She uh, has indication to believe that she has at least been drinking. Um, and we're gonna see what the outcome is. Yeah, go put your shoes on. Can you talk to my mom, please? Yep, he'll talk to your mom. Thank you. Am I under arrest? You're gonna be placed under arrest, yes, but I'm gonna let you put your shoes on first, okay? I'm under arrest for what? For DWI. So turn around, face my patrol car.
Alright. Is she allowed to take my car? My phone's right. and my money, everything's in there. Do you, do you want to take her car? Are you the registered owner of it? I'm the registered owner. You're the registered owner? If you want to take it, then you're allowed to take it. Um, it's up to you. You just have to make sure that she's not going to operate it for the next 12 hours. No, I can drive it. I just have my other car down here. Mom, can you take that car and come get me, please? Yeah, so I mean, you can take that car, leave the other car parked for right now, and then if you want to meet us at our headquarters, the process is probably about like 45 minutes to an hour tops. Um, so if you want to meet us at our headquarters, we're right at 965 Broadway in West Long Branch. Um, yeah, so right behind Borough Hall. So if you want to meet us over there, you can meet us over there, and then you can, you know, sign for her as soon as she's done, just saying that you're going to make sure she doesn't operate a car for 12 hours. Okay. Okay? All, All right. right. Everything's in there. Jealous. My money, my phone, everything. All right. You, is there a phone or anything you want her to get? Not so So that I you want. have it in mm -hmm. case you want to call her from headquarters you're in case right. she's outside? Um, Mom, can you give me the pink phone? Mariah repeatedly insists on having a lawyer present and thinks her white mother might be her ticket out. All right, so I'm going to read you a document that's important. Okay, but all right, yeah, you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to the document that I'm going to read you. All right, Mar it's Mariah, right? So Mariah, you have to pay attention to what I'm about to read you. It's very important. I want a lawyer. I, when you listen to what I'm going to read you, it, you may not, and this is going to explain why. You're telling me I am. I am. It, it's on, it's been on record the entire time. It's Hanlon, okay? So Mariah, Mariah, please pay attention. What I have to read you. I want. You, Mariah. Now, I have my lawyer. Or your public defender. Is okay. it? Oh wait, Paul Egner. Can I have him? That's your uh, public defender. No, you're you're thinking Paul Edinger. Yes. Can I have him? Yeah. That's your public defender. No. Can you call him, please? No. So your answer is not acceptable. The law requires that you submit samples of your breath for breath testing. If you do not answer or answer with anything other than yes, I will charge you with refusal. Now I ask you again. Yes, for will, me with refusal, will, please call Paul. Will you submit your breath test? No, call Paul. Okay. Can I call Paul? I can Google it. I want a lawyer. Okay. Can you just come to me? Not right now. I'm not gonna attack you, dumbass. No, no. I know you're racist. I'm not gonna attack you. I don't you take reason. offense to you saying that. You continually say that. I'm I don't need you to. You didn't investigate the crime scene. Okay. All you did was look at the color of the person. Okay, this is all you didn't be look at the color of the car. This is all going to be You didn't look at the car. You didn't okay. look at the condition of the okay. car. And if you would have noticed, you would have charged me way more. Okay. How about the bumper that's tied to the fucking front because of the donut? Put it in the report because I'm on camera and I'm going to ask for it. Yeah, I'm right. literally telling you, you dummy. You didn't even investigate. You looked at the color of the person in the car and locked her up. Oh, take your shoes off. Let me make you look like a clown. Come be my slave. Please, put your leg up. Hands up. Can you follow my finger, please? Not even investigate what car the person was in. How about safety first? Ain't that your rule? I hope you don't have no kids. I really hope. Safety always comes first. You should have examined the car, check the car out, before every cop does it. Walk around the car, see the car, see what else they can get. Just fix everything in your world. All you did you want, as soon as you see that was dark skin, you wanted me. Mariah seems upset, wants to keep her shoes, and call her mom for help. Can I call my mom? Can I call my mom? I see I'll 
off the hall. You, you, can I go my mom? Glasses. Sorry, Jane. Can I call my mother? You may not right now. I may not. Can you call my mother? Not right now. Maya, just stop talking. No, I'm so serious. Nikki and Jasmine are on their way to you. Whatever one gets there first, get in their car. They're not releasing me until you get here. I know. So you're not going nowhere. So shut the f I'm not, not just about to sit here either. You are about to sit there because you can't go nowhere. Mom. Just stop talking. I did. I asked for a lawyer. Back. They said you I don't have one. Back. Well, there's your phone call. You wasted it. I'm hanging up. And don't call me back. <sighs> okay. So, just so you know, I'm still wearing a body camera. Everything is audio and video recorded. Um, so this form is called a potential liability form. So it, if you want to read it, you have every right to read it. Um, it just says that you're being called here to pick up somebody that's been arrested for DWI. Um, you have to ensure that they do not operate a motor vehicle, being your daughter, for the next 12 hours. If she does operate a motor vehicle, she commits any kind of crimes with it. Let's say, God forbid, she, cr she crashes a car and kills somebody. You get charged with whatever she gets charged with. So it's you're assuming the liability to make sure that she doesn't operate a motor vehicle. Obviously, you have the keys, you have the vehicle, but it extends to any vehicle. Yeah. So just it's you got back to my place. yeah. So just keep an eye on her. Just make sure she doesn't like take your keys, take your vehicle, or take somebody else's vehicle because then you're on the hook for it. Okay. All right. So you're gonna sign. So this is correct, right? That's your name. That's your address. And you live mm -hmm. at Long Ranch. Okay. So you're just gonna sign right here that you receive the potential liability form. Okay, so here's a copy of the alcohol test form, which she refused to provide breath samples. So you don't really have to worry too much about any kind of uh, like alcohol test results. Um, here's the summonses that she's going to receive. So the first one is refusal to submit breath samples. Second one is traffic of Mark Lane. She crossed over the center median twice. Next one's going to be DWI in a school zone. She crossed through a school zone. Next one's going to be for DWI. Next one is use of a handheld telephone. She admitted on camera that she was texting, which is why she crossed over the center line and almost hit me. Next one is going to be for reckless driving. That goes hand in hand with a DWI. Next one is going to be for maintenance of lamps for the rear brake light on the car. She stated numerous times how unsafe the vehicle is and the brakes don't work on the car, so she has a uh, vehicle in an unsafe condition. And she also has, she has a suspended driver's license. She's not supposed to be operating a vehicle while she's suspended. So the court date for all these summonses is going to be on August 30th at 10 a.m. If you have any questions, you can contact the court administrator. Phone number's up there, but just make sure that she shows up for her first appearance on August 30th. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. It's going to be on August 30th. Can I have a pen? This pen's right here. I want to make sure it's on here. It's, it's on all the summonses. It's on all right. Mariah will face several charges. Refusal to submit breath samples. Crossing the center median twice. DWI in a school zone. Using a handheld phone while driving. Reckless driving. Maintenance of lamps. Rear brake light issue. Operating a vehicle in an unsafe condition driving with a suspended license. What next? This is Charlena Michelle, who was arrested by Barstow Police on January 26, 2015, following a conflict with another woman over a parking spot. Okay. What's going on, ma'am? Up there, she's 
she stopped, rolls down her window, and she's like, who the hell do you think you're honking at? And I said, I'm, I'm turning, my blinker's on, you can't drive like that in the parking lot. And she just starts yelling at me, hurries up in front of me, parks right here, all cranky. So then I park, she gets out of her car, and I wasn't going to get out, this isn't her car. She moved it real quick. And okay. Then, um, she gets out of her car, comes over here, punches my window, throws something, that, whatever that brown thing is, she throws it, she's screaming at me. Okay. Um, Miss Anderson is out here, you can ask her. Okay. She's is your window damaged? Anything damaged at all? No, she scared the hell out of me okay. and I'm like, I'm calling the police. She's like, call the police. She's just screaming at me. Okay. Then <laughs> she took a picture of my car. Okay. And she hurried up around her car, moved it somewhere else. Where's her car? I don't know. Well, I need to see her car if you have it. If you... Yeah. What kind of car was she driving? She's standing over there. Okay. Yeah, it was a gray, a all light right. gray Toyota Camry. I don't see I right now. I don't, I, I don't like, see a crime that has been committed. If there was damages, I would give you the opportunity to right. place her under citizen's right. arrest if you wanted to. I don't see any crime. I'm going to document her name, right. probably her story. I'm pretty sure she's going to give you a story where, you know, it was your fault and then right. this and that. But we'll just document that and see where her car is and we'll go from there, okay? I didn't is that get out fair of enough? Car fair right enough? Now. Okay, all right. Uh, do you think she was driving recklessly? In the parking lot, yes. I work here, so I'm here every day and I think people can drive like her. <laughs> like fast or what? Yeah, she was driving fast and she slammed in here. Like, I'm just scared. I want to get out of my car. Okay, what, what vehicle car. is she driving? Toyota Corolla. Like, I don't know where she is. Is that one over there? Up three? Alright. Okay, I'll go and talk to her if you can maybe uh, locate her car. That one right there? How you doing, ma'am? Yeah, I was just dropping my daughter off. I was in this way where the cars, the police cars are. She was honking and honking, so I was like, run my little dog, see what she want. She was like, um, you cannot park right, I mean, you cannot drive right here. This is a one lane thing. Um, she was like, this is a one lane thing. I'm going to hit your car. Just go, just go. I said, who are you talking to like that? So I parked, walked my daughter up in here, and was like, what's, you have a problem? Because you talking to me like I'm your child or something. You know, you can say something like, it's a one lane thing, but I never known it to be a one lane thing because I always see two two lanes, two cars driving through. Right. Right. So then she just acting all scared and stuff because she just, I don't know, I don't know. Well, she said you threw some on her car. No, uh, ain't no? nobody throw nothing at her car. I had my daughter right there. My daughter was scared. Okay. My second grader was scared. Okay. All right. Exactly. She just called the police for, for whatever reason. I don't know. Well, uh, you know, some people just feel like sometimes they're, okay, well, uh, you know, so. Okay, well, I just by her because she's white. What's that? And she's white and she's making threats to me. I, don't I know. felt threatened by her. Okay. I just went in there and let them know because I know she works here. Okay, here. what is your name, ma'am? I'm not giving you my name for Oh, what? yeah, I actually do have the right to ask you for your name okay, in this case, okay? Okay, let me make sure. Let okay. me make sure. Well, let, let you ma how long is it going to be for you to make sure? Okay. Let me make sure because I'm not about to get harassed by the police. Well, today. you know what, ma'am? I, I have every right to ask you for your name, okay? I'm not about to get harassed. Ma'am, ma'am, no, 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 no. Michelle, what? What yeah, is your name? Ma'am, I'm going to give you. Ma'am, I'm going to give you two minutes. Hello? Okay. Miss? Miss? They, they talking about they have to get my name and all that. Michelle shows that she really doesn't care much about the matter, which is why she doesn't want to hear the officer. I don't know because okay, she over all right. here crying and stuff. Just give me your name, please. Give me your name, I please. I just told you my name is Michelle. No, no, it's not good okay, enough. Okay, well, I don't feel comfortable okay, right here. Uh, let's go, let's go 15. No, watch, no, watch don't. Yourself. Andre, they're about to yourself. touch me. Watch uh -uh. yourself, please. Don't touch Joe. me. Don't touch me. Ma'am, please. Do not touch me. Do not touch I'm pregnant. Do not touch me. Okay. Do not touch me. What the f*** is going on? Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me, sir. Do not touch me. Just Do not touch fence. me. Do not touch me, I'm pregnant! Stop it! No, You're ridiculous! What are you doing? What are you doing? Ma'am! I'm pregnant! I'm pregnant! I'm pregnant! I'm pregnant! I'm pregnant! I'm pregnant! So why are you resisting, ma'am? Why are you resisting, please? Can you come here? I'm pregnant! Please! I just lost my cuffs. Can you come here? Do you have your cuffs? Since she is pregnant, she should not fall to the ground this way for fear of harming the fetus. 
Seventy. That's the third. The first one is twenty twenty Monterey Avenue. Oh my God, I'm doing this. Okay, get up, ma'am. I can't. I'm pregnant. Okay. Watch yourself. Stop my stomach. Stop. So why are you resisting? Because you guys are stupid. Y'all are stupid. Stop. Go ahead. Get yourself up, please. Please. Get yourself up, please. Please don't touch me. Please. Don't. Please, please get yourself please, up. Please, I can't. Stop. Okay. Andre. We'll get your stuff, okay? Stop it. Let my arm go. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing? Okay. God, I will. Let my arm go. You're under arrest. For what? For uh, obstructing. No, I did not. I did not. Go ahead. Oh. Stop it. 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 Stop just get in there! Just get in! No! Get okay. in, please! <laughs> 42 were cut for one, uh, 15 with one. 42, copy code for we're continuing with one. Correction, copy code for 15 with one. And just for info, she still uh, won't give her name. 42 copy, will not give her name. Go ahead and sit down, please. Sit down. So you say you're pregnant, so go ahead and cooperate like that. We don't have to get hands on with you, okay? Just go ahead. Just go and sit down, please. Sit back, ma'am. Sit back. Just go in there. I'm gonna have to pull you, ma'am. Uh, that's it. That's all I there is to it. It doesn't matter. Wrong. We're not gonna argue this right now, okay? You're going in, no matter what. You are I going to. You're going anything. to jail right now, okay? We're gonna pull wrong. you. Let's go, ma'am. Corporal. Come here, Corporal. I'll arrange that for you, okay? Uh, excuse me, you arrange what? I can't say it. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Right, no, no, no. Okay. All right. No. Thank you. Oh, maybe she's got ID in there. Let me see this. <clears throat> hey, Joe. Joe. Is that for her? No. No. Okay. What's your name? Yeah, you want to pick her. Yeah, hang on, Joe. No, that's wrong. She said her first name was Michelle. <laughs> With us? I mean, she, 148. She didn't want to burning. say who she was. I said, I have every right. I'm recalling. I have every right to ask you because you're in, directly involved. She went on a 415 right here, uh, punched the, the lady's car, or whatever. No damages. The Just the road rage. She came in pro apparently flying out of inside here. So the lady. Where's your car? Huh? Where's her car? Her car? We don't know. Okay. She, she, after the incident, she kind of like wanted a. I don't know, she went and parked her car, so I gave her like maybe a minute, I tried to convince her, say you need to give up your name, and so I went to place her under arrest, and she resisted arrest, so that's all there is to it. Uh, 
first of all, if she's gonna go to jail, we have to deal with the car. Okay. And I'll leave, right? Are you off? My job. If she's gonna go to jail. Charlene and Michelle was charged with resisting arrest.